Hi everyone, Rodrigo here once again to show you how to find and replace fields on Nautrix. Check it out! Guys, here you are already seeing my Outrix screen, but before I introduce some data in this project, I want to show you some history. I'm from Brazil, which means that I work with no decimal numbers split by comma. But for example, in North America, everyone use instead comma, they use dot in order to split decimal numbers, right? Sometimes you can receive some data source from another country and you have to work with this kind of differences in, in order to succeed. Because sometimes if you use, for example, Brazilian structure in North, North America, the number will result uh, uh, something totally wrong because comma for North America means thousands, not decimal numbers, right? Dot means decimal numbers. So sometimes we have to uh, face this kind of problem and we have to fix this kind of problem. And how can we do it in Outworks? We can just move on to this section over here, this tab called join and use this to find replace the two that I'm going to show you today. But before use the these two, we have to just input some data, right? I'm going to input some data in manual way. So I'm going to use this one text input two, firstly, and this one will be my data source. So I'm, I will just put it here uh, values. And then I will just describe some values in each line. So the first one will be like one uh, comma 50, for example, because this is a Brazilian structure, right? The second one will be 10, 50, then 1250. Okay, just three rows. That's perfect. So guys, now I'm going to just run my workflow in order to check the results. So over here, you can see I have 1.50, 10, comma uh, 50 and 12 comma 50 okay and that's the time to just change comma for dot for example in order to create a decimal numbers for those for these three numbers over here how can we organize that how can we fix uh, this problem we, ju we just have to create a new data source manually this one, I'm going to use it just in order to uh, describe which values I want to find in fields and I want to replace for each values. OK, the second one will be this data source, the data source that you use to find and replace fields in the in the other. OK, in this one. So first of all, I have to create a column name it, for example, uh, field field to find okay this one is the not field the value let me just correct this one value value to find in our case comma okay and the second column i will name it as uh, value to replace all right this one will be dot you can use whatever you want, okay? You can use some values, another kind of values. For example, I want to just uh, change the letter A for the letter E, for example. Oh, I want to change the some symbol for blank space, for example. You can use another uh, whatever you want on this, but you have to uh, have you have to have at least two columns, one to find and another one to replace, okay, with these two values. Now it's time just to run again our workflow and check the, uh, these two outputs over here. The first one, I have my original values. This is my data source. And the second one, the data that I want to find and replace in this data source, all right? Then we move on again, moving back to the section called join and took this find and replace tool, drop over here. And as you can see, guys, I'm going to just zoom it a little bit for be more clear to you. Uh, we have two input input methods here. OK, we have two inputs in this tool. 
one uh, I can see the letter F and the other, another one the letter R. The F means the data source that you want to use in order to find some values to replace and the R means the data source that you want to connect here in order to get fields to replace in another one, okay? So usually we connect the F input with the original data data source, okay? So I'm gonna just put it this one here in the F, so the output of this data source in the F input. And then the second one, I will just connect it with R input, okay? Then we have to click on find replace tool and then configure this part over here, how uh, this tool has to work, okay? First of all, I wanna use the field values as the base to find replace, find the values to replace, okay? So I will just put it here, the field. As you can see, automatically author is identified that value is in my field because I have only this field in my data source. That's why I have just this option over here. So I will click on values, okay? This is the find with thing field. Then the values that author is need to find in order to replace this field over here. So I'm gonna put it here, the column in the second data source that I will use to find some something, okay? In our case, will be the column called value to find. This is the, uh, the column that uh, these two find replace, will find values to replace on values field, all right? Uh, then, then we have to move on to this part, replace, and put it in this bar over here, which, which value Alteryx will use to replace the field values in the data source when it finds the value over here described in value to find. So I'm just saying to Alteryx, first of all, check what value you have in this value to find column, then move on to the data source values in the data source and find the field called values and replace the value that you found on value to find for the information that I put it here. The information that I want to replace, uh, I can find on the field called value to replace. All right, so these are the three methods that the three configuration that you have to do in order to succeed with this tool call it find replace. All right, so when you do this part, you can just move on a little bit left here, left corner, and you will see three options. Okay, if you use beginning of field, Alteryx will just consider it to replace when it check the field in the data source and find the one that you want to replace only in the beginning of the field, not in the middle, not in the end, just in the beginning. If you use any part of the field, it doesn't matter the position of the value that you put it here in the find value, Alteryx will replace no matter what the position, all right? And then you can use entire, finally, the another option is entire field, which means that Alteryx will just replace when all the field, all the value in the field match totally with the field to, to uh, with the value that he, you put it in find value option, okay? Just when all the data is connected with the find value. Otherwise, Alteryx is just move on, just jump and move on to, to the another line, okay, to replace. So in our case, I'm gonna use any part of field, okay? If I just select this one and run, you will see the results on this uh, find replace tool. The output is all, ab all about comma change it for dot, okay? If I click on the input, for example, I have commas here in these three number, numbers, 
in those three numbers. And then in the output, I can see how to exchange it, comma for dot. For example, I'm going to just change a little bit the selection over here, the, sele the find selection. I will put it beginning of the field and run again. As you can see now, nothing happening because the comma is in the middle of the value. But if I'm moving back to my data source, for example, I will just change the first value. I will put it comma 150. So comma in the beginning. And then I'm going to run again this workflow. As you can see here, now the first value outer exchange it, comma for dot, and the second and the third one without any changes. All right. And if I put it entire field, you can see here, run, nothing happened in, in the three fields, nothing happened. The three with commas is still. But if I move on to the data source and change here, the, this first value for just comma now, just comma and run. Now you can see the comma change it for dot. All right. This is a simple and easy tool to work, but really, really useful in order just to arrange some mistakes that you have in your data source. And guys, please be careful with that because nowadays we are working remotely, right? So we work from one country to another one and the data source are totally different between countries. So sometimes you have to fix this kind of troubles in order to succeed in our data projects, all right? Guys, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe in our YouTube channel. Don't forget to share this content. If you like it, thumbs up, please. Okay. And see you in the next video. Bye.